So here we are back at the garage. Uh, yesterday, I took these parts in. Well, actually, this part. I took this one, too. This is that 12-inch piece where um, it's a mounting plate for those uh, spindles, these, uh, these parts. Now, these parts are what goes in here. And then they mount on here. There's a set of holes that go in here and then another set that mount this to something else. And uh, then uh, there's a, uh, this is supposed to get, there's like a one inch width in here. And I tried, I could cut it this way on the saw this wasn't a band saw this is a, another type of saw but anyway I stood it up and I cut it this way I cut it that way and I wanted to cut it here to get rid of that material but there was a stop set over here for another job and I couldn't move it so this was the most I could get moved over so I ended up cutting it here cutting it here I just rotated it but yeah this is uh this is over a little over a half inch thick right here and it's got to go down to three eighths on both sides and then there's a uh, some kind of vertical half circle thing up here that that's going to control something this way it's got a quarter inch slot through it and then there's some uh radiuses that get put on those uprights so they don't pivot or bend but this is the mounting plate and this is the part like I said I wanted to take in and do these radiuses on these angles and radiuses so what I did was I banked it on one side then I went down here 130 I mean 150 then I went down another 150 then I just flipped the part over like this and I did this one same way then I flipped the part over like this using that same banking point and I the the goal here was to put this radius in now there's a, a step in here because the thickness of that flange is supposed to be quarter inch and when I cut it here I had it thicker than quarter inch because I would have had to change my parallels on my vise here at home and it wasn't really like necessary I let the end mill come down and it went down to final depth and it walked around here did that radius this radius plus I had a radius on the cutter so put that little radius in the corner But uh, yeah, you don't want sharp edges because you don't want the material to fracture. So yeah, I did that radius. I came in with a rougher and I roughed those corners off. Then I came in with the tool and did that. Then I flipped it over. Did the same thing there using the same tool. That way I didn't have to change tools. I basically changed the part instead of the tool. And then I came in with a quarter inch, ran around there, put that profile in. If you, that's what it looks like. And uh, this end mill I used here was a regrind. And I put in three quarter. And I was supposed to put offset in there for the, for the diameter. So what I was going to do is I'm going to let it run around there 
and basically do a roughing pass at the three quarter and then put the offset in and then let it finish up at the right diameter and uh, but I mean it's not it's not critical dimension at all it's just mostly just get the sharp corners off and you know I was really pushing for time here and but um, yeah so it's it's a uh, it's basically bigger than it's supposed to be and that's why there's a little cut right there with the quarter inch because this diameter is supposed to be a little bit smaller so the quarter inch end mill didn't know that and I didn't have any comp for the quarter inch so I mean it really doesn't matter the only thing that's important is the the location of the holes the rest of it is just I won't say looks but just you know stability and what have you but anyway I mean you can, we could always blend that in it's not a big deal I got to come along here and cut all this material off so I got the one part on one side the other the other part on the other side so I cut this uh, I had these holes in here on both sides so this material has got to come off like this one but I left this one on because that way I could stand this part up and I could drill the holes through here <clears throat> to separate these two parts because I got to drill between there's a this leg here is on that side and this leg is on this side and in between there's a it's all hollow well it's not hollow now it's solid but there's nothing there there's you know there's no because this is only quarter inch thick so it's going to be hollow on here so I'll drill a set of holes through here so I can separate these two parts out of this piece and then I can come back and then hold it down and then finish facing all these surfaces off to the correct thickness of the flange but anyway it's looking pretty good I got a like I said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill these holes through here. Alright, just wanted to show that to you. Yeah, here we are back out in the shop. Now what we did uh, yesterday was we had this one side that I cut on the band saw well the saw at the other shop so I milled that one side then I drilled a series of holes in here so that would go through the part and then I cut this other side I had to take a hacksaw and cut through here and cut through here because I don't have a band saw here at home and then I milled this side and then when I milled this side the holes came through so the holes were the holes only went so far and then when I milled this side down it intersected with those holes so it made it the holes come through so then I took hacksaw and I cut right here and I did the same thing on the other side. See that little cut right there? And then I was able to separate these parts. So that's what they look like when they're separated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bolt through this hole and put it on the table and then find the surface and then come in here and just remove the top part of here so that it's all one one thickness and the same thing on the other side
I'm going to do that to both of them. Then I'm going to flip it over and using that same bolt, I'll, I'll probably tag it down over here and then come in here and do the middle piece. Take that down the thickness. So what I do is I take the cutter and I bring it down to the table. Then I raise it up maybe 260. I need 250, so I'll raise it up 260 and then rough all that material off. I only get so far and I can't do the part where, you know, I got the clamp. So then I'll do that part and then I'll tag it down over here and then finish it up over there on both parts. So that'll get rid of all this excess material around here because as soon as I hit that, see the, the depth, the depth from here to here is 300. So as soon as I go below 300, it's going to knock that material off. And that'll finish up this on both of them. That'll finish up this area because it's already done. So then the only thing I have to do is I'll put this down the table. Now indicate this surface here. Make it so it's square with either the X or the Y. And then I'll come in with a cutter. And, and this material won't be here. All I got to do is worry about this little piece. From the center of that radius, the center of that circle, to the edge here. And I'll just come along and take that off and then use that radius cutter and just come in here and finish it up and that'll finish up that side then I've unfortunately I have to do the same thing to the other side I got to indicate this you know if I I had all this material gone I could have done it on a little three axis but anyway it's not a big deal it's just indicate that and get that so it's aligned with the X or the Y, whichever one I figure out I'm going to choose over there. And then get rid of this material here. And do that on both of them. And then these parts should be done. Oh yeah, I got to do this the same thing here too. I line this up. Tag it down over here. Line this up with either the X or the Y. And come in here. It's just basically a straight cut. I'll come in here. Do that, put that little radius tool back in there and put that little radius in the corner on this side. So I'll do that there and then have to do that, turn that and do that there. Have to do that on both of them. Then that'll finish up uh, this part. All right, we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, here it is, the end of the day, and well, the end of the day for me, and uh, I got these parts done. They came out good. Like I said, I held them down, I cleaned off that area, cleaned off that area, then flipped them over and held it down over here, cleaned off this area, held it down over here, cleaned off that. I got a, these are the some of the parts that were on there. This is the other one for the other part. I'm going to throw those in the, the scrap bin for the solid material. I don't save the chips, but I do save the, the solid pieces. Chips aren't worth it. And uh, it's not that it was a hard job it was time consuming because I have to put the indicator in and indicate this surface then cut that one then do the same thing on this surface I had to take that cutter out put the indicator back in and do this one and generally speaking yeah I had to do the same for the uh 
for this this area too here I had to hold it down and indicate that but but yeah generally speaking it's a uh, not difficult but I don't have a a tool changer you know back when I got this mill I bought it used and I bought one of those ones with the handle on it and the uh, the air butterfly thing you know and it was like I don't know like a hundred and twenty bucks you know and I mean it I mean it was it was it ended up being more trouble than it's worth you know it's it was aggravating you're trying to pull it down you're trying to hold it over and I mean it worked kind of sort of maybe but it just uh I finally got frustrated with it and took it off and I really didn't need a tool changer because I really didn't do really production work, you know. But, you know, with this one, I had to put the indicator in, put the cutter in, put the indicator in. And like I said, but I don't know, I might have to reinvest in a better one. I didn't really don't want to spend 400 bucks on one of those good ones. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we got it. We got it done. We got to do a little sanding. A little deburring and then that'll be done and then I just got that 12 inch long plate and uh, that's just basically milling and drilling holes it's there's not a lot of rotating on that part it's just set it up on the either I clamp it on the table or set it on the in the vise and just start milling away on that little puppy and get that thing done and Get this job out of here and move on to something else. All right, talk to you later.